everyone. Today we're going to be making um, slides of the positives that we had with our um, run of specimens on the XN550. Um, so I'm going to show you how I make them. Uh, it's different from what you would see in the book and it's a little different from the other video that I showed you, I believe. So I'm putting a diff safe um, in one of our um, positive sickles. Okay, one of our sickles did come up positive here and uh, monocytosis was the uh, flag. Notice there isn't anything on the automated diff and um, here's the automated CBC part. So what I'm going to do is before I even label them, I'm not going to label it because if it doesn't come out well, then I don't want it to be um, labeled. <laughs> so you want to get two, two slides and um, you would have inverted before you put the diff safe in there. It's okay to do it this way as well. So I'm gonna put a drop at the front there. That's way too big, okay? So that's not a good one to use. We're not gonna do that. That's what's a pain about these is they can be super duper big. So you're gonna do a smaller, that's too small, okay? So you wanna make sure that when you're using this, um, you get a good technique down before you actually go to your slide that you're going to use. Okay, so we'll, we'll practice another one here. Okay, that one's kind of okay. That looks kind of like it might be um, a little bit big, but it's better than we have done. That one's perfect. Okay, so let's do that one. That's going to be my spreader slide. That one's too big, but I'm going to go with it anyway. So what I'm doing is I'm holding the slide here. I have uh, the slide in front. I'm going to pull it towards me at an angle and then pull it forward. Okay, so what that should give me is a feathered edge up towards the front here, the top here. And... Um, the thick area would be back here. So we'll try it one more time. Um, if you use this one, you can wipe it. Okay, we'll do one more and that'll be the end of this video and then the next video will be on staining. Okay, so we put the, the drop here. I'm gonna use my spreader slide, put my, um, put my fingers up at the the front and where the label goes I always pull it towards myself that one's much better okay so you end up having that beautiful feathered edge it's not perfect but it's much better okay so then we would let uh, we would label this and then let it air dry and then come back and do the staining. Uh, that'll be another video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you would do two of each for each patient, okay? And then stain them after they're air dried and then you would look at the smear review. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.